Hello everyone, welcome to v360.ai use cases. Today I will share a very easy method for mapping the productivity in v360.ai. I will quickly explain this feature. v360.ai enables you to map the applications or URLs used by your employee as productive and unproductive, and you can get a productivity report on that. But when you onboard a new account, this section will be blank because you need to map the applications as productive and unproductive according to the working nature of your employees. Here, our AI module helps you where the applications or URL are automatically categorized into some predefined labels. And you can make these labels as productive and unproductive accordingly. So you can see here that in-house tools, internet, knowledge management, these are the predefined label where the application and URL get mapped automatically. Just for example, if we take meeting, so MS team is automatically done here. And if you go to URLs, you will see that meet.google.com, zoom URLs and so on. These are automatically categorized under meeting label. Now for your employees, if taking a meeting is a productive thing, you can make this label as productive or unproductive accordingly. For the same, if you can go to settings from the left side panel, there is an option for productivity rules. So this will work in two segments. Basically, first you create an application policy. The application policy will enable you to categorize uh, the applications under the predefined labels and these labels can be made as productive and productive. I will just create a new application policy for you. So here it is. You will simply click on this policy name and you will see all the categories here. So just before we have seen that meeting was a productive thing. So I will just simply search meeting here and make it productive. Same way analytical application like Excel, Google Chrome, Google Meet and so on. These will be under analytics category. Banking and finance. So all the finance related thing calling in phone if it is productive or unproductive for you chat and messaging you can have your in-house chatting tool um, labeled under here designing application developer application like github e-commerce is simply like uh, amazon or anything uh, like from where you do shoppings and all education website so if you have any in-house lms learning management solution available in the company you can map it under education category and make it productive Email obviously is productive for all the organization. File sharing. Gaming is obviously unproductive. Hiring and recruitment. This can be productive for only the HR team and rest of the team it can be unproductive. In-house tool we usually suggest to make it as productive for the people. And in the same manner you can categorize all these. And now the very important thing once this categorization is done. You need to map this category to a team. So. After categorizing this, you go to teams option, select any of your team and map the application policy there. Then only the productivity mapping, uh, the new policy the, or the productivity report will start working. So this is the first phase of productivity mapping, which we have done. We have uh, some predefined categories. Applications are automatically moved into the predefined categories and you make the categories as productive and productive accordingly. But our AI module cannot map all the applications as productive and unproductive. You need to do that uh, for your account. So one good thing is we can map uh, older applications uh, like the backdated data uh, as well for you. So you come to this mapping part and select last 30 days. So last 30 days data will be updated accordingly. Now from the left side panel, you will find a analytics section where you will have this apps and URL section available. You open it in a new tab, just to have two adjacent tabs here. So now you go to application and URL section from the top right, you will go to detail and you will find a unmapped category available here. So these are the applications and URL. If your employees are spending time on that, then their time will be going into neutral time. It is neither marked as productive or unproductive. Same goes for URLs as well. So now I will simply copy this URL and keep on mapping. <clears throat> also, one important thing is so we usually suggest our client to only map the application or URL where they spent time. So in front of every application and URL, you will have this spent time available here. 
so collectively all the employees onboarded in this account this much of time they are spending on this mponline.gov.in or whatever url you get to see so we suggest our client to only map the urls where the spent time is at least more than 30 minutes then only you will have a concrete report even though there are urls where you can see the spent time is five minutes or somewhere in seconds one minute so mapping these application is not going to make a very big difference on your overall productivity report so how to map it i will simply suppose this is dte.mponline.gov.in this is not something which is productive in our company so i will simply copy this url go back to the productivity mapping tab which we have opened earlier i will search this url here and i will map it in an undefined category why because this undefined category i have made it as unproductive for my team so i will make it unproductive now so now any person is spending time on this dt.mponline.gov.in their time will go into unproductive time next let us pick any other url just for example ye, uh, streamyard.com so this might be something uh, our designing team might be uh, using it so this is a productive thing so i will map it under the design application so i will go back to that tab i will search it again here i will map it under design so design is a productive thing so any employee working on this will now go into productive time same thing i will do for some applications as well i will go back to apps under undefined category unmapped category only i will go back to maps and now i find this application to be used and frankly i don't know what this application does so in the logs if i sort out the duration so zs mizen v2s reinstall cleanup file reinstall and so on so i think my testing team is using this application so we uh, like mizen is our in-house desktop application and our testing team used to test all the new builds launched by the tech team so this is something related to testing and the developer part so i will copy this and i will map this application under developer which is a productive thing to do yeah so once you follow these simple steps like uh, checking the duration and mapping it under it and rest of the things are already mapped so within a very few minutes you will be able to have a very concrete productivity report available to you so under analytics you will be able to see the summary of the productivity of your complete organization and if you go to detailed you will have the employee wise detail available i will tell you a very good way to check this report so suppose for animesh pandey he's been present for six days online time is 27 hours productive time is 25 hours in the last seven days and unproductive time is one hour 15 minute now if you want to know which are the productive applications this person has used or which are the unproductive applications a person has used you will simply hover on employee name you will click on view user detail and there is an option for apps and url so these all are the applications and these are all the urls which animesh pandey has used so far now if you more sc scroll down more you will get to see if the application where the employees are spending time is marked as productive for them or not so all the things are marked as productive only the major application which this person has used if you go to url all the urls are also available so suppose mail.google.com crm is a productive thing calendar.google.com has been marked as unproductive for this employee so now you can question this employee that why you have spent this one hour 22 minute here and the roi of our product that if you make this one hour 22 minute as productive for any of the employee then the roi of our of our product will be incurring so all you need to do just to track what are the unproductive things which your employees are doing minimize that unproductive work and you will be able to achieve a good productivity from the complete team and that's the agenda of v360.ai thank you so much for watching and if you need any assistance we will just be a call or a text away thank you so much